Good morning everybody, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about two or three stocks that I'm looking to trade here this morning on the 29th of March in 2019. We're also going to be taking a look at what the stock market futures are looking like this morning so we can see and kind of understand where the market is going for the day. So let's just hop over here to my Safari tab very quickly so we can see the U.S. stock market futures. The S&P 500 is currently up about $12.25, up nearly 0.5% as of right now. The Nasdaq's up about 33 points, up about 0.46%, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up about $128 right now, up 0.5%. So the futures right now are telling me that we're pushing green this morning, at least to the market open, and maybe for an hour or two into um, you know the market today. So if we hop over here to the Think or Swim platform, go to the SPX very quickly so we can talk about what I was uh, saying in yesterday's video. Very quick brief recap. I was saying here on the five day five minute how the SPX was forming lower highs. Highs. We can see if we go back to the 10 day chart, we topped at about 2860. And from there, it seems like we've been forming this wedge pattern here of lower highs, but at the same time, higher lows over the past two days. So I was saying there's two scenarios that could play out here. We're either going to pop out of this wedge, which is going to be a very bullish move. We could expect some green if that does end up happening, or we were going to get rejected here, sell off, break the support of this wedge, and ultimately retest 2800 and 2790, those two critical support levels, and that would be a pretty bearish move, especially if we were to break this level right here. But if we saw the stock market futures, the SPX is currently up about 10, 12 points, meaning it's looking to open up something like this, right? It's looking to break out of this resistance and pop up to the upside. And if we go to the SPY very quickly, we'll see exactly what I'm talking about here, right? Let's just do a little downwards trending pattern here, or uh, trend line rather, and we can see, right, the 285 level. And for those of you guys that don't know, the SPY is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. We can see we topped at about 285, which correlates to the SPX topping at about 2860, right? And we can see those lower highs forming here, right? 282, 281. We can see one here at about 280. And towards the close of the market, we were at one again at about 280 here towards the resistance of this channel. And we can see the higher lows forming as well, um, you know, over the past two trading days. So the fact that we see here pre-market hours and after-market hours that we're breaking out of this resistance, that's a pretty bullish move this morning in the SPY and the S&P 500. And if we take a look at the one day, one minute, it's making higher lows really all this morning we plateaued a little bit here this is kind of a bullish move and the fact that we popped out you know this again is a very bullish move right here in the S&P 500 and now we're trending right around here so I'd keep an eye on the S&P this morning are we going to continue this run or are we going to end up selling off in the morning that's something that I'm keeping an eye on here so let's talk about very quickly three ETFs and stocks that I'm watching this morning to trade so one being uh, JNUG that trades based upon the gold futures and we talked about this one in yesterday's video how gold took a pretty big hit from about 1320 all the way down to about 1291 which was actually over the night I believe yeah we can see here if you if you look at the timestamp up here you know we we actually sold off all the way to 1290 and we held that support at about 2 a.m. Eastern Standard all throughout about 4 a.m. and then at 4 a.m. we started to reverse to the upside we tested the 1296 level which was a support from a couple of months back we talked about that in yesterday's video and obviously since we broke below it we made that level a resistance and we broke out of that resistance now we're trending into the 1300 level which again is a pretty bullish move the fact that we broke that resistance now and this is correlating to a pretty nice pre-market move here 
in JNUG. And let me show you guys here on the 20 day. Um, you know, this, the support was back from the middle of March and back in the beginning of January. If I do stretch it out a bit more here. We can see exactly what I'm talking about, right? This was an old resistance and gold made it a new support. And now we're holding above it, heading into the 1300 level. Pretty, pretty good move there. And JNUG right now, which is again the ETF I'm watching for this morning, we ended up closing the day at about 980 yesterday. And now we're trending nicely into the $10 range. So keep an eye on this one. This one could potentially be a runner today, especially if gold continues its push to the upside. So the second one I'm watching here. <clears throat> is a crude oil ETF that goes by UWT. UWT is an inverse ETF, just like JNUG, and its inverse is uh, DWT. So ideally here, guys, you know, we are seeing it's a bit overbought right now. We're all the way up to 1850. So probably this is the, you know, out of the three that I'm going to be talking about, this is probably the third on the list in terms of what I want to trade based just because, you know, it's very overbought right now. But I'm going to be talking about it in this video just because it is on an uptrend now. We are in a very bullish state, but I just want to see a bit of a pullback. Let's see if crude oil does end up giving some here in the beginning of the market. Maybe we do end up selling off maybe back to $60. You know, that would be pretty ideal for an entry point here on um, uh, UWT. But, you know, if you weren't in pre-market hours or after market hours yesterday, I'd be very patient with this one right now. But I still think it's worth um, talking about because check this out. If we're going on the 20-day, one-hour chart, just take a look at this resistance that it seems like we broke out of, right? If we do maintain this resistance as a new support at about 60, 30-ish, right, which is why I do want to see that pullback, we could be headed to the next level of resistance, which is going to be at around $61.21, especially if the uptrend here in crude oil continues. And that's going to open up, again, a lot, a lot of margin on UW. So just keep an eye on that pullback, guys. If crude oil does end up pushing to $61, $61.50, the um, UWT can definitely be somewhere in the $19, maybe $19.50 range here in the next couple of days. And it's just continuing to push here, guys. Oh, my goodness. Check, Take a look at this. This is beautiful. If you were able to enter yesterday, you know, if you were to take that, uh, you know, trade, <clears throat> you'd be up nearly 6% right now overnight, which is absolutely phenomenal. So those are just two ETFs I'm watching. Very simple. The third one I'm going to be watching here today is Apple, guys. So Apple, you know, we all know Apple. It doesn't have an insane influence on the market, but it does have an influence on the market to a certain extent, right? So the fact that the SPX is up today, you know, you can pretty much see that Apple is following that as well, right? And we can talk or rather see, and we've been talking about how Apple got rejected very strongly by the 195 resistance. And it seems like we ended up holding the 185 support level as well as the 50 simple moving average here as a support over the past two or three trading days heading into today, guys, we're starting to pop up. So this is actually a pretty nice move right here, in my opinion. And I do plan on adding a swing position today if these technicals do end up holding in terms of Apple. And from 190 up to 195, that offers nearly a 3% margin of profit, nearly a 2.75 margin of profit. And if we were to break out of that resistance, right, and we can go to the next resistance, I can show you guys how much potential there is there. You know, if we were to break out of uh, actually, no, it's already drawn out here. I was about to draw the next one for you guys, but we can see the next one is at about $200. So, from right now, guys, up to you know, up to the previous uh, or rather the next resistance, there's going to be roughly 2.5, like we just talked about, and the next one up to $200 is going to be about five six percent <throat> margin of profit in Apple stock. So I'm keeping an eye on Apple this morning very, very uh, closely. It's looking pretty attractive right now for the continuation of the uptrend 
pattern here. So let's just look at Tesla for fun, guys, because Tesla is one that I've been watching very closely as well. And we're seeing some consolidation this morning, actually. If we go to the five day, five minute, we can see we popped above 280 and we've been holding this level as a support over the past trading day, trading day and a half, I guess you can say now, heading into the pre market hours today. And for those of you guys that recall and watched yesterday's video, I was talking about how. Now, Tesla is facing a resistance right now at 280 from back in the middle of October in 2018. It's also a resistance here from, uh, you know, the, the towards the end of January in 2019. And we're looking like we're maintaining that uh, resistance as a new support here with the goal of going up to the 180 simple moving average resistance, which is the next resistance here. That's been a resistance over the past couple of months in terms of Tesla. So I think this is a pretty good swing play as long as we maintain this level of support back up to this 180 simple moving moving average, which again offers about 4.5 to 5%. So those are just a couple of stocks ETFs that I'm watching this morning, guys. Let me know down below in the comment section what you are watching today. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy these market morning updates, feel free to go down below and hit that like button, guys. It really does support me and supports the channel in general. If you're new to the channel, feel free, consider to subscribe, the red button down below. You can't miss it hit that button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time that i do make a video here and i do make a ton of market update trading updates stock investing tip videos throughout the week so i hope you guys stay tuned for those so good luck to everybody out there trading today i do have a link down below as well to the discord free 100 free join that while you're at it i'll catch you guys in there i'll see you all later